fire are true. Any other legends we should know about? Legends of glorious death. Well, as long as it's glorious. I guess it's a lot of stuff. Watch out! This place is falling apart. Uh, we did not come here to be slain by ice and rocks. There is only one noble way to die on Maklu 4. So many of my people before us. Someone remind Trax we ain't come here to die. No one's dying. We're taking Foom alive. We're handing him over to Lady Hellbender alive. All right, Drax, let's channel some of that excitement toward this rock. I shall pretend it is the head of Fin Fang Foom. Great. Drax just shattered the skull of the thing we're supposed to capture. Bye bye, Galaxy. You have nothing to fear. I am Groot. Groot says he wants to take it all in. Take your time, buddy. Might be your last chance to take anything in. Think Foom's in there? If fantasy books taught me anything, it's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with teamwork and trust. <laughs> you can't remember the details because he didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no one writing a book about us. I think I see something up ahead! Look, my people were here. Didn't we see these in Drax's memories when Mantis linked us all together? They're Katathian hunt markers. That's a lot of brave Katathians. After Thanos raised Katath, my people were left broken. Physically and mentally. Their exodus led many of them here in great numbers. Uh, so, how many of these hunters came back? None. They were all victims of Fing Fang Foon? Not victims. They came for the ultimate battle. A truly glorious death. They came here wanting to die, didn't they? Most Katathians believe that in order to reach paradise, Ultath, you must live a life filled with purpose. Failure to achieve this results in banishment to Sarduth. The bad place. It is not a place. It is non-existence. Kinda like what's gonna happen to the whole galaxy if the church gets its way. Indeed. My sister used to paint places like this. Hell worlds? Frozen landscapes. You expect me to believe that Nebula, scourge of a hundred worlds, might be painting pretty big what? Is that cool? <laughs> okay, team. We can't make quick work of this thing, and we got no right going out the mid bank room. Well said, Peter Quill. Fight in the footsteps of so many of my people! my friends, uh, unless they send reinforcements. If they do, we'll have to move like lightning. Hit them from behind. <laughs> but what if they're too fast? We'll need another plan. So what if these scuts are tough? Tough? I'm saying we're no slouches either. We've got plenty of scratches on our holsters to prove it, so come on. Who's with me? You that are supposed to help he really doesn't need to chill out. We really don't have time to mess around like this. The journey to Fin Fang Foo must be safer. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
No matter what this planet throws at us, we're not stopping until we catch Boom and Lady Hellbender is fighting by our side. Gamora, I'm thinking I can get a pretty good vantage point from the top of this thing. Okay, just be careful, Peter. I can see the whole crater from up here. Maybe Boom's not in a mountain after all. Maybe he's down there somewhere. You tell us! I mean... If I were a dragon, I'd definitely want to stop around down there. Legends do tell of Fin Fang Foom stalking Maku's greatest caldera. <gasps> Flark and Hala! Whoa, got a load of them claw marks. It's gotta be Foom's, right? He's even bigger than his legend. So, yeah, uh, when we find him, let's avoid the claws. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to cross here, too. Just not sure how. Looks like there might be a ledge hiding under all those rocks on the other side. Okay. I'm thinking this is step one of a multi-step solution to get across this chasm. All right. What are the next steps? Still working on that part. I could clear the rubble from that ledge, Peter Quill. I just need something to throw. Final step, Drax. If we can topple some of those rocks... <laughs> Glorious! I swear, I've never seen you in such a good mood. Because you have never seen me on the Great Hunt before. What about our Quarantine Zone mission? You mean our Quarantine Zone bust? Drax, I know you've been waiting for this a long time. Enjoy it, man. Thank you, Peter Quill. I must admit that with everything that has happened, I need this. Yeah, well... Everyone get ready! There's something up ahead! Sure it sees us, whatever it is. Great, more foam food to deal with. Do not underestimate anything that survives the perils. Good advice. No, they don't look like the worms I used to have. Since when is that a thing we do? What if we're too late? 
What if Raker finishes what he started and the ritual... Then we're doing all of this for nothing. Not for nothing. If our final act is to challenge Fin Fang Foon. There. See? More... ominous peaks. This planet's starting to give me the creeps. I keep thinking Foom's gonna claw us from behind. Fin Fang Foom is a legendary beast. Legendary beasts do not claw from behind. Anyone else seeing a dead body? Another Fin Fang Foom hunter? Most likely. Every littered corpse is a sign we are drawing closer. Yay! How do you know? Hello? She's an assassin? So here's an idea. Why don't we lure Foom into one of these gas caves? Knock him out! Coward. I want full credit for the kill. For the last time, Drax! We're not killing Fin Fang Foom! We're catching him to give the Lady Hellbender so she forgives us and hopefully helps us fight the church. Wait, wait, wait! Rocket, are you neck deep in water? We're about to tear down a legendary dragon with the fate of the entire galaxy at stake. I ain't gonna hold us up. Wow. I'm impressed. You really conquered your fear. Yeah, well, it ain't about you. Bust it up, Drax. It would be my pleasure. Lady I'm taking you! Keep your weapons out! It's not over yet! Hair numbers! Oh, you can you can One last gross flaily thing! The less I have to touch him, the better! Hit on a swivel! Love the initiative. So trajo to cloak. So trajo to cloak. Held a gold morgad. Soul has flounder gad. Don't leave me hanging. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. It. it will give way under my might. <laughs> nice! Who won't know what hit him? We'll be more resilient than a boulder. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. We are the perfect team. Meh, we're okay. Honestly, after everything we've been through, there's no one I'd rather be doing this with. I flarkin' love you guys. Uh, gross. Some things are better left unsaid, Peter. Yeah, way to ruin it. Let's just get back to catch. Whoa! Flarkin' Maclu! Maclu 4, Peter. You must be fair. Very sharp. <laughs> he 
This is nothing compared to the legendary teeth and claws of Fin Fang Fu. You know, I'm gonna be really disappointed if he doesn't live up to all the hype. Peter, look! There's smoke ahead. Think it's Foom? More likely it's people. Great. Maybe they'll know where he is. Or they'll attack us on sight. I could probably infiltrate the camp, look for weak links, make an example of the right person, bleed them out in front of their crew. The shock of it will cause confusion or maybe even surrender. Then we carve through the rest. Loving the murdering spirit, just keep in mind not everybody out there is hostile. It could just be a settlement. That's a dangerous assumption, especially now when everything hinges on us pulling this off. Right. And we're definitely gonna hand Raker his ass and get Nikki back. But then, afterward, we're also gonna have to find a way to get back to normal. This is my normal, Peter. Trust me. Right now you need me in murder mode. Just... save some of it for the real bad guys? Maybe dial it back to a high seven for now. Hmm. Maybe a low nine. Come on. Nasty teeth. Purple shorts. What do you mean, purple shorts? What, I heard he wears purple shorts. The ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? This one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Felt that one too. And that one. That rock tried to murder us, so we'd have never got Quill's sweet new power. Maybe we should almost kill you more often. That's not how it works. I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. Step aside, mortals, and allow the Melkinator to do his mighty work. What is that? Come on, Rocket. We got past your fear of water. That ain't water. How did you know your guns would work back there? They've saved us three times already. I mean, how did you know they'd melt that ice wall? Oh, uh, I... Didn't. So we could have just as easily died horribly. Yep. Huh. Raise that thing, Groot. Right about there. I swear, Quill, you get all the fun toys. What? 
What about that weird gun you have that turns people inside out? Oh yeah, the zipper. Man, I gotta fix that thing. Where'd they go? What the flark? It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. I am Groot. Yeah, not sure we want to piss this thing off. Star-Lord! See? <laughs> Star-Lord! Star-Lord! Is it just me, or did he sound a little irritated? No, there was definitely hatred in that voice. Ha! <laughs> Always the charmer, Quill. Check out these pointy trees. Just don't check them out too closely. Ah! It burns! Root says they've got corrosive spores. Maybe don't get too close. With all these exceptional beasts, it's a wonder Lady Hellbender does not move her home here. It's a little cold for Lady Skullsuit. Drax seems to be doing okay. The Tathians have adapted to survive long and harsh winters. And blistering brutal summers. Look, Will, it's your new best bud. I'd say communication has failed. Another up there. Done playing with the snow monkeys. When to go? Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling when to go. See? Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those when to go to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, they started it. So much for not holding a grudge! Make sure we don't end up on the menu. Can we kill any faster? What? Oh. Elvis, the Whoa! You see 
see that thing? Hold fast! No use, Max! Fly! Now. 
Or seek revenge. Think that wreck is the camp we saw? Nah, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. All right, Groot, give me a boost. I'm Groot. About yay high. Yay is not a unit of measurement. Groot knows what he means. All right, heads up. I'm gonna drop something down for you guys. Look out below! Ha! That'll work! You think those creatures were using this ship for shelter? Oh, they're dead. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. More hostiles. Maybe it's just a nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. Ooh, maybe it's a barbecue. What? Barbecue? What? You guys have never had barbecue? Charbroiled burgers, grilled steaks, baby back ribs? Whatever it is, it smells... Bodies. It smells of bodies. Jeez. Is all this foom? Undoubtedly. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for foam. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. I've still got some things to pack up. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. <laughs> when is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, if you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah. Seems we've both got bigger problems right now. Seems like. Um, any of you corpses mind if I help myself to your stuff? No? Well, thank you. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using it. Small Marvel craft. Here's hoping we do better against Foom than this lot. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. 
Little doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. We have appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day shall mark our ultimate conquest or our glorious defeat. Who may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. It shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. Big ice thingy on the frozen sea, eh? I am Groot. You said it, buddy. Sure is a long way down. All right, people. Let's catch us a dragon. Yes. We grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Boom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally. In the case of this place. Whoa! Hey, Keith! The ice is amplifying our velocity! This is how I die! Well, that takes care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're going to get back up. Or how we're going to get Foom up there. Look on the bright side. We may be dead. Back on Earth? People would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be the dog. I was actually thinking of the Wendigo, and Foom is the sled. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. I love it. Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these, I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin Fai Foom, come and face your death. What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our mettle. Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill. Go! Uh, Fin Fang Foom, it's... Nap time! <laughs> Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foom, we're gonna decomboggle your flock and scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of Sitarki and shrub me! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Yeah! It actually does! Just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. Maybe we spooked him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. A dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out.
Peter Quill!
speak, big guy! Hey, Quill! Wanna see some fireworks? Triumphant! Who must fallen? Screwed up. We conned you, robbed you, killed your baby. We can't take back what we've done, but we want to make it right. Uh, Quill. Heard the Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! the two of us together. Lord Foom. The final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see... Enough. The... I will gather my forces. All right, let's go.
Yes! The noble Lady Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day. After we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. We found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. We are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. <sighs> but we lost Warlock, and we'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. We still tracking him? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good. Then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Oh, she will. I'm certain of it. All right. Let's gear up, people. Tie up any loose ends. Take a pee if you have to, because we're not stopping again. <coughs> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tunes. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. Mantis? What happened on Lamantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you when church grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great. I did not want to know that. I have pooped. Oh yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. Aw, she says thank you for getting rid of Aiden Warsock. Apparently she likes me better. Uh, Adam Warlock? Yeah, him. She thinks I'm bleats. It translates weird. Mantis, I've got so many questions. I know, and I've got so many answers. Like, seize the means of production. Or, it's not just a rash. Or, yes, it is gluten-free. Uh, not the answers I was looking for, but now I'm wondering about the questions. What questions? How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on Mac Lou 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. But convincing her to hear you out? Woo! That was tough. I had to get all creepy mystical and spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe. And she believed you? Oh, no. Not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she came around. Couldn't take that chance with her babies, you know? What happened on Lamentis after we left? You said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. It isn't their way. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is saved. So you were able to hide them in the caves. Hope you told them to stay away from the fog. Well, I'm glad to have you with us. Oh, good. Because you're not always glad. Why not? Well, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. What? <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. So, how was it, uh, riding along with Lady Hellbender? She have you try on battle armor? Oh, no. She's very respectful of other women's bodily autonomy. We just talked. She asked about you. She better not have said anything about me reaching my big size. No, no. You only turn into Big Fuzzy in one or two fringe realities. What? She wanted to know if you'd give her your bomb recipe, though. She said you did a job on her throne room. Only if she pays for it. <laughs> 